Okay. Good evening. I went uh, went out today. Had a little bit of time to play. As you can see, I've got my Mavic here in front of me, and what used to be my landing pad. <laughs> Um, I get to retire it after after today and move on to something a whole lot better. Um, it cost about thirteen dollars, and it's quite literally three pieces of plastic. And what these do, what these allow, is to get another uh, almost two inches off the ground, better clearance underneath here as well as the rear rotors and much better clearance on the gimbal so let me unfold and show you exactly how quickly these come together um, give a shout out to the guys at uh, Drone Valley they're the ones who uh, turned me on to these and they have been so far the amount of time I've been able to use them, phenomenal. So there we have the drone on feet. As you can see, I've got these on wrong. They are left and right specific. I thought I laid them out right, but you know what? Doesn't matter, because it's very quickly changed. So there we have it. You see a huge clearance here, of almost three inches between the mat and the gimbal and in the back at the rotors you're looking at again another you know that, that's three fingers underneath there and that's that's good two inches up for the entire underneath so that gives a lot of room for this drone to uh, take off and land and testing today it didn't hit any leaves or grass that were underneath of it even with the rear rotors um, now the other part I want to look at is some filters um, but just before I get there um, I'm gonna go ahead and get him get it on uh, but again big shout out to Drone Valley and his video on these feet I will link um, to his site where you can pick those up and uh, help him out a little bit but uh, he makes some great videos too I've learned a ton about flying this drone even before I got it. So we're gonna take a look. These are the Polar Pro filters. Uh, I've actually got the six pack. So I've got the regular NDs and the, the ND polarizer filters. So I think they call them the uh, vibrant. Um, and they go all the way from uh, ND4 on the Polars to uh, ND32 on just the plain NDs. Uh, but today, cloudy day, I wanted to go out see if I could hit my mark. So I pulled out the ND8, which I actually happened to open. And you, I use the gimbal assist here to help get that on. Push it all the way in. And I'm going to take this off, put my back feet back on. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you, hopefully you'll see easily on the startup see it kick off and these filters you leave on um, today I was able to use the ND8 and I got to uh, at shooting at 30 frames a second today I usually shoot at 24 but I had other things I wanted to try so 30 frames a second I was at ISO 100 on a cloudy day and the shutter speed was 1 60th and I had no skies blown out no whites oversaturated or overexposed. It was beautiful. So there we can see we went through the entire startup. And other than being in a basement and not having GPS or the remote, it uh, it's working well. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down. And my only my only thing is it is on there really really good. So it's not going to fall off. I've tried all six of mine and there won't be any issues of them falling off. They are, however, quite snug. 
So it takes a deft hand, um, which my fingers were a little skinnier, to get them off. Um, so you do want to be careful with your gimbal. I mean, this is the that's the lifeblood of this drone. Um, so those were the Polar Pros, and like I said, I was able to shoot and hit my mark on it quite easily. Um, even with the ND8, I, I tested it, but I didn't shoot it. I didn't have anything blown out, even when I put 30 degrees up on the gimbal and pointed it at the sky. No zebra lines. Um, and I was at 1 50th of a second. So I'm definitely going to be able to get my cinematic shots with this drone for some of the projects. Um, got one coming up this coming weekend where we're going to use footage from the Mavic to uh, flesh out a short film that I'm doing. But enough on that. I'm going to put a uh, link in my description for the Polar Pros and again for Drone Valley and uh, his channel and site where you can pick up Mavic feet. Uh, this is definitely the, the least obtrusive that I've seen and they, they feel just like the plastic that the actual Mavic is made from, though they're a little bit of a thicker stock. Um, looks good on the drone, doesn't look like they don't belong, and in actuality, you can fold up the legs just like this. You see they come together in the back. This is my normal bag stuck on the table. Really? Pull this in, and I've got this folds over here. But for a quick run, that folds over. I don't even have to take them off. Um, I'm going to just because I'm like that. But in this bag, I would not have to take those off um, to store the drone. But like I said, it's me. I'm going to. They go right on top of my batteries. And the drone goes right back in the bag like normal. And of course these are going straight in there. So, until next time, check the links below. Pick up some of this great, great equipment. Um, I think those Polar Pro cinematics are running $129 or $159, somewhere in that range. I'm not sure. I honestly don't remember um, the drone feet uh, I don't know a better thing to call them they were running about uh, 13 14 dollars but worth worth every penny um, I would definitely recommend those 100% to anybody with a Mavic uh, just just get her up off the ground uh, she's, they're not gonna fall off they're not gonna get in the way it did not change the balance of my flight at all um, so until next time Take care.